Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a gummy soft cataract. The patient is having diabetes for 16 years. Let us observe this surgery. The main incision is placed with the help of a 22.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And then the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% SPMC. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. When we place the side port about 3 clock hours away, the astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side port. And now capsulorexis is being done with the help of this uterata forceps. The uterata pierces the central part of the capsule, a capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided to get this 5.5 millimeter capsular excess. Hydrodissection is done and now for gummy cataracts that is seen in diabetics, the best option is a pre-chopper and this is Dr. Sohail Khan's pre-chopper. Pre-chopper and sustainer divides the nucleus into two heminuclei and then each heminucleus is subdivided into pieces. So we have got four nuclear fragments. And now, once we get four nuclear fragments, it is just very easy to pick up the pieces and emulsify them. The FECO needle is introduced, the pieces are tilted and emulsification is started from the apex. Two pieces have been emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used is 50 percent, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. This diabetic gummy cataracts just don't want to separate, but with pre-chopper it is not so difficult. But with divide and concave technique and with stop and chop technique, after making a trench, the posterior plate just doesn't want to separate, doesn't want to break. So the nucleus is managed and now there is some cortex, lot of cortex, some visco and then this is a 23 gauze Simco cannula. And in a very short time, we can remove the cortex with this instrument. I use a separate bottle and a separate drip set to use this Simco cannula. Cortical cleanup is done and now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. Before that, the 
posterior capsule has been polished a bit. Now the anterior chamber is kept maintained by the irrigating cannula and the nucleus is injected and the irrigating cannula places the lens in the back. The side port is closed by stromal hydration. We have only one side port. And now this is a final lavage at this time. Whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is also removed. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the integrity of the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.